uh, I get calls from, as an example, companies where they want to hire the number one student at a school. A person comes from uh, India, China, Japan, uh, lots of different places, and they go to Harvard, the Wharton School of Finance, they go to uh, Yale, they go to all great schools, and they graduate number one in their class, and they made job offers, but the offer is immediately rescinded because you have no idea whether or not that person can stay in the country. I want to be able to have that person stay in the country. These companies can go and buy uh, a gold card, and they can use it as a matter of recruitment. At the same time, the company is using that money to pay down debt. We're going to, we're going to pay down a lot of debt with that. And I think the gold card is going to be used by, not only for that, I mean, it'll be used by companies. I mean, I could see Apple. I've spoken with Tim Cook, and by the way, he's going to make a $500 billion investment in the, in the country only because of the results of the election. And I think because of tariffs. He's going to want to be in the country because of tariffs. Because if you're in the country, there is no tariff. If you're out of the country, you've got to pay tariffs. And uh, that's going to be a great investment, I think, that he's making. I know it's going to be a great investment. But uh, we have to be able to uh, get people in the country. And we want people that are uh, productive people. And I will tell you, the people that can pay $5 million, they're going to create jobs. They're going to spend a lot of money on jobs. They're going to have to pay taxes on that, too. So they're going to be hiring people. They're going to be bringing people in and companies in. And I don't know, maybe it will sell like crazy. I happen to think it's going to sell like crazy. It's a bargain. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll know pretty soon. soon. I think uh, Howard and, and Scott, a few of you really are responsible for it. But <clears throat> Howard, if you want to discuss that for a couple of minutes, I think I'd like to have you. I think it's going to be a very successful program. This sure. is commerce. So the uh, EB-5 program, uh, which has been around for many years, had investment of a million dollars into projects in America. And those projects were often suspect, they didn't really work out, there wasn't any oversight of it. And so for a million dollar investment, you got a visa and then you came into the country and ended up with a green card. So it was poorly overseen poorly executed. Then you had our border open where millions of people came through. So the idea is we will have a proper business. We will modify the EB-5 agreement. Christy and I are working on it together. For $5 million, they'll get a license from the Department of Commerce. Then they'll make a proper investment on the EB-5, right? And I, we think Scott and I will design the EB-5 investment model because Scott and I are the best people together to do that. So this is joint. This is exactly the Trump administration. We all work together. We work it out to be the best. And if we sell, just remember, 200,000. There's a line for EB-5 of 250,000 right now. 200,000 of these gold green cards is $1 trillion to pay down our debt. And that's why the president is doing it, because we are going to balance this budget and we are going to pay off the debt under President Trump. And to qualify, do you have to promise and make commitments to create a certain number of jobs no, here in the U.S.? No, because not all these people are going to be job builders. They'll be successful people or they'll be people that were hired from colleges, like uh, sort of like paying an athlete a bonus. I mean, uh, Apple or one of the companies will go out and they'll, they'll spend five Maybe they'll buy five of them and they're going to get five people. Look, I've had the complaint where I've had the complaint from a lot of companies where they go out to hire people and they can't hire them out of colleges. And you know what they do? They go back to India or they go back to the country where they came and they open up a company and they, they become billionaires. They become and they're employing thousands and th there are a lot of examples. There are some really big examples where they were forced out of the country. Our, they graduated top in their class at a great school, and they weren't able to stay. This, this is all the time you hear it. And the biggest complaint I get from companies, other than over-regulation, which we took care of, but we're going to have to take care of it here because a lot of that was put back on by Biden. But the biggest complaint is the fact that they can't have any longevity with people. This way they have pretty much unlimited longevity. Also, with the five million, you know, that's a path to citizenship. So that's going to be, it's sort of a green card uh, plus, and it's a path to citizenship. We're going to call it the gold card. And I think it's going to be very treasured. I think it's going to do very well. And we're going to start selling, hopefully, in about two weeks. 
Now, just so you understand, if we uh, sell a million, right, a million, that's $5 trillion. $5 trillion. Howard was using a different number, but that's $5 trillion. If we sell 10 million, which is possible, 10 million highly productive people coming in, or people that we're going to make productive, they'll be young, but they're talented, like a talented athlete, that's $50 trillion. That means our debt is totally paid off, and we have $15 trillion above that. And now, I don't know that we're going to sell that many. Maybe we won't sell many at all, but, but I think we're going to sell a lot, because I think there really is a thirst. No other country can do this, because people don't want to go to other countries. They want to come here. Everybody wants to come here.